Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will learn how to install MySQL Workbench on Mac OS X Catalina. Also, we will see the connection of MySQL Workbench with the MySQL DB server and how we can create the database. So few things will be covered and I will show you a little introduction how to start work on this MySQL Workbench. And guys, this process is very simple and straightforward you have to only follow the steps that i am going to describe in this video tutorial session let's get started first of all we have to download the workbench setup for, for that just open your chrome browser and uh, copy this link from the description and come back here in this address bar paste it here and hit enter and then you will be redirected to this page mysql community downloads this is all free and uh, you can see uh, the setup uh, the, for the mac os also there is a note this workbench 8.0.20 is uh, compatible with the catalina 10.15 and mojave 10.14 so we are going to download this setup and the size is 106.2 mb so there is a button direct button just click on it and you will be again redirected to the new page so this is just simply a page is requesting for you to sign up uh, oracle account web account so you will get these benefits if you don't want to sign up so there is an option just go the downside there is a link there is a link no thanks just start my download so simply click on this link to start the downloading of the dmg file once you click the downloading will start uh, size is 106 MB and uh, I will skip this step so I have already downloaded and I will show you so I have placed the downloaded DMG file in a separate folder once you downloaded your file so just double click on this DMG file and uh, such kind of progress bar will appear this dmg file is going to launch once this dmg file is mounted and this window will appear mysql workbench 8.0 and guys here steps are very clear very simple so you can see this is a mysql workbench a simple app icon and just put your cursor and drag this to the inside the application folder once you do that you will be moved inside the applications folder and you will see this progress bar the mysql workbench is copying inside the applications once the progress is completed now we are ready to launch the workbench for the further configuration so here is the workbench that is uh, installed inside the applications folder now we simply go for a double click and again this will verify by the my my OS X security and again you will see a security warning so you have to go to the application as security inside the system preferences there you have to grant the permission for the installation so again we will go inside the system preferences and uh, inside the security and privacy just double click we have to log in into the this and we have to give the password admin password then we will reach inside this for further changes then click on this warning ok then a notification will be sent here that uh, mysql workbench was blocked from because it was not from identified click on the open anyway again you will see a warning sign click open okay finally it is done now I am going to close it once you've done it your workbench will be launched and you will see a very first home screen of your my SQL workbench so guys we have installed the workbench successfully now we will see how to connect to the MySQL DB server the process is very simple okay now we will see how to connect so before connecting you guys must ensure your server is running 
to do that go to the apple icon go to the system preferences again and here you have to go inside the mysql control panel and here you have to check this is green that means your server is running and we will proceed for the second step to connect the workbench with mysql db server and now we have to go to the menu and at the top menu click on this connect to database and this window will appear so here you will see the first drop down the stored local connection so select this instance local instance 3306 because your server is running on port 3306 and connection method will be remain same as standard tcp ip and uh, the rest information will be automatically filled user is root then click ok if you have a different or multiple instance so you have to select that particular instance click ok and again you will be asked for the root password so the password we have uh, given at the time of installation of mysql server we have to give that password here click here if you want to save so you can save in the keychain click ok mysql workbench is connected to the db server and uh, this is the query execution area in the bottom section you will see the error and the output results of the query and there's also options for uh, fetching the records if you have a table of all one lakh records so if you don't want if you want to select only 50 records so you can select from the drop down also there is a first link for inside this management section the server status you can check the server status the performance and more relevant information about your mysql db server and the status is running there's a lot of things you can go through it one by one and explore more there's a user and privileges you can create more users for accessing or granting the rights for the management also there's a data export tab so here you can export the complete database or you can take the backup of the database or if you want a few tables database backup so you can take it so a lot of options available to inside this data export tab now we are going to this tab a schema so here the database that you have created will be displayed on this left pan inside this schema section so right now we have only one database sys and there are some tables if you want to create new database schema so go here at this icon click once and uh, this window will appear so here you simply have to type the name of the database or schema that you want to create then go to here click apply and this going to be created with the script execution and the script executed and you can see your schema is created on the left hand side so there is a table view functions whatever you want to create you can proceed with your database now if you want to switch and you want to execute some query so you have to do a right click and then you have to set the schema a database as a default then you can execute the query from the right hand side query execution editor and now suppose i want to execute the query on my this sys database and the table is sys configuration now we have to again assign this schema as a default so we have selected a default the query is written and uh, to execute this query we have to click this button once you click your results will be there this is very simple and very nice ui there are a lot of options to export filter the rows and uh, you can save the results as well so lot of things are there and guys this workbench is all yours we have done our installation and connection successful and uh, you, you guys can ready to explore more and start your development and learning i hope you guys found this tutorial useful so please don't forget to like this tutorial and subscribe my channel or oh, guys press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.